Welcome everyone. The iPhone doesn't have one recycle bin, but multiple. So for example, if I open the notes app here and I'm going to quickly create a note and then I'm going to delete the note. When this happens, you should see on the homepage of the app, a recently deleted section. And in this section, you can see the trash. And if I edit here and delete all, delete, and now the trash is gone. The same applies with the photos app. You need to go to albums. And at the bottom, there's the recently deleted. You can see the photos here. And if you select delete all, delete, that's going to delete. With messages, this may be slightly different. So I'm going to have to have most of this covered. But on the newer software, you can go to the home page of messages. And there's a recently deleted section. On the older software, there's either a triple lines or there's, there's an option that you tap on at the top here. And that will give you the option to view your recently deleted messages. Final thing is if we open the settings and then you're going to locate general. There is the iPhone storage here. And this is going to show which apps are using the most storage. If you tap on an app, you can see the documents and data the app is using. And if this is a lot, you can just delete the app. And so you can see for each individual app, you see you have eight kilobytes of documents and data for pages. And uh, let's say, you know, it's a word processing app with lots of uh, documents and data used. Just go into that app individually and then delete the stuff you don't need. And that will free up your storage. And if you see at the bottom here, system data, then to remove that, open up the files app. And you may have some stuff in the files app that needs to be deleted, delete, and then use that recently deleted area to permanently delete. And with that being said, if you'd like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye bye.